Georgina uses a Garmin Instinct GPS watch, and over the last few weeks she started to notice some issues with its elevation measurement. The ascent readings it's been given have been far too high, and the elevation traces look very odd, with near vertical drops followed by similar ascents. During her recent race, click at the top right for the video, the measured ascent was 3,500 metres, when the figure from the organisers was around 2,000 metres. You can see some of these discrepancies here, with blocky data and sudden drops that don't exist. We can zoom in to see some of these in more detail. There's almost a kind of pattern to it, with drops followed by a bit of a recovery. You can see it here on the ascent as well. There are also these unnaturally flat sections as well between the sharp rises. Overall, this adds a lot of elevation gain to the trace. These issues were especially highlighted on a recent trip to Pembrokeshire, where we ran together on the coastal path, which has a lot of sharp climbs. Comparing to the data from my Garmin 4Runner 945, here in blue, the two traces start similarly. But soon after, the instinct trace, which is in red, goes awry and is far too low in elevation. It also has some vertical spikes here and here. The magnitude of this issue can be seen more clearly if we show the plot relative to sea level. As expected we started just above sea level but on the way back Georgina's instinct was measuring as low as minus 70 metres below sea level when we were in fact both on top of a cliff. Furthermore this was more or less an out and back run. If I put a line in the middle, it should help you to see that the 945 data is approximately symmetric, albeit with some drift in elevation of about 20 metres over the run. However, the instinct data is nothing like symmetric as you can clearly see. Luckily for Georgina, she also uses Strava and its elevation correction, shown here in yellow, does an excellent job of cleaning this up and saving the day. You can see here the comparisons of the Strava corrected data for both the Peak Skyline race and the Pembrokeshire Coastal Path run. We don't know why this is happening, but there have been several recent software updates which may be responsible. If anyone has any further information, please post in the comments. We'll make a further video if we find out any more information. Thanks for watching.